Good morning, everybody. Today officially starts day one of bringing this 1955 boat to life. Today, we're not gonna be spending too much time on the boat itself. I think we're gonna tackle the trailer today. The goal is to get this entire trailer stripped of its paint and freshly painted with new paint. We're gonna go to Harbor Freight right now. I'm gonna go get a stripping disc basically for my grinder. From there, we're gonna come home, take the trailer out. I think today's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be about 60 degrees, so it's gonna be pretty warm. It should be warm enough to paint. I'm a little nervous about painting in the cold and it drying and things like that, but I'll show you guys everything that I'm using to do this in case it's a project you wanna take up. I'm gonna try my best to document everything step by step, although I am learning. I'm gonna do my best to show, like, you know, if this were to work out really great, I'm gonna make sure you guys knew exactly what I did. So, to Harbor Freight we go. So we are back from Harbor Freight. I'll show you guys what I picked up here. Right here I have a grinder. I'm gonna use this to get all the old paint and rust off of the trailer. The trailer's in, it's, it's in good shape, but the paint job and the rust isn't the best. So hopefully we don't find any underlining issues when I do take the paint off. But if you guys wanna know what I'm using on my grinder, I don't know a ton about this stuff, but I did a little bit of research. When it comes to the wheel that you're using on your grinder, make sure you get the correct one. The one that I'm using today is a polycarbite abrasive wheel. This one is specifically made for removing rust, paint, and flaky material. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. You don't wanna use anything too rough. You can actually damage the trailer if you go about doing this wrong. So make sure you know what you're doing. If you've never used one of these before, make sure you're safe with it. Wear gloves, wear eye protection. I also picked up some of that today. You know, I'm not an expert at this, but I do know how to do it. There's a good chance I'm gonna have to take the trailer apart. There's a lot of lights and things on it. I haven't really decided what I wanna do yet, so let's pull the boat out, bring it out into the front yard, and uh, see if we gotta take it apart before we start ripping the paint off. So we took the boat off the trailer. I flipped it upside down over here. I threw it on some pallets to keep it elevated. If you guys want to see the bottom in case you were curious, this is what the bottom looks like. It's got a little bit of scrapes, but for the most part, it's in pretty good shape. There's not too many big dents or dings. There's one little gash right here that I don't love, but I don't think it's a huge deal. I may fill that, but uh, for the most part, it's in pretty decent shape. There's nothing too crazy wrong with it. I'm probably gonna have to take a few things off this trailer, though I'm gonna do my best to work around it. Like, I'm probably gonna take off this guy right here at some point. Probably gonna take this guy off here. I gotta take all this nonsense off. As much as it's gonna be a pain in my butt to get off, the only way I'm gonna be able to strip it of all the color is if I completely do that. So, pretty much, I just gotta dismantle this thing. I'm probably gonna take the fenders off. I'm probably gonna repaint those fenders as well. We're gonna give you a little update here. Your boy's a little frustrated, but it's kind of what happens when you get into projects like this. So I've been kind of just grinding away trying to get this trailer taken apart. This has been painted over a time or two. I don't know who painted this before me, but they must have just full out painted it. They didn't take anything into consideration. They just put some yellow paint over it and that was that. So long story short, I've been here for like two and a half hours trying to break bolts 
I've been trying to apply heat to them and get them to work. It's not working. So what we're gonna do here is I have a buddy that's gonna help me out and provide me with some tools that are gonna help me get these off easier because I have limited tools where I'm living right now. So in the meantime, I'm gonna start you know, grinding away at this thing, shaving some of the paint off because the majority of the first half is done. But uh, you know, I need some tools to get these bolts off. I mean, they literally painted over every bolt to give you guys a gist of what I've been going through. As you guys can see here, these are what the bolts look like. I mean, they are just painted in there. Dropping my water bottle, whoops. They're, they've completely painted over the majority of everything, like literally everything. So I've been applying as much heat as I can with a blowtorch to try and break the bolt just a little bit, but it's just, it's, it's been a mess. When I used to do projects, I would do it at my father's house and I don't live with him anymore. So, you know, it's not as easy to go get tools. I have very limited stuff here, but it is enough to get the job done. These bunks, they look like crap. I'm gonna get rid of these in general. Uh, probably make new ones completely. They're just, I don't know, they're kind of Jimmy rigged for the most part, but I don't know what the heck they were thinking with this trailer. I mean, that is like the ugliest paint job on a trailer. And, uh, you know, unfortunately I can't even tell you what it might have been prior because I'm about to grind it all off. Another thing that I'm gonna have to completely redo, which I kind of figured as much, but I was hoping I wasn't, was the wiring. They just did the weirdest wire job when it came to this i mean it is spliced and changed in so many different directions it is just it's just it's junk so you know you got a ground wire just dangling here i mean you got a lot of corrosion a lot of rust and stuff like that this thing needs to be cleaned if there's one thing you want when you're driving around with a boat it's a good trailer never want something sketchy so the front half we're gonna work on right now the sun is starting to go down Hopefully I can get the majority of the trailer sanded off, cleared off, and then we can get the bunks off. You know, I was, I was gonna pick back up in the morning, I'll be honest with you, like I was about to just call today, but then uh, me and the boys started drinking a couple Bud Lights, and I said, you know what, we're gonna finish this thing here tonight. So I can't finish sanding it, but I'm gonna finish ripping it apart. These bolts have been so darn stubborn that I'm just starting to hit stuff with a hammer. That's about it. So I had these bunks. As you guys can see, they're not here anymore. Me and Matt over here just uh, heated the sucker up with the blowtorch. This guy can be your best friend sometimes, I swear. So we started heating stuff up. I started banging it with a hammer. And yeah, that's that. So I tore out all the wiring in the trailer. We're gonna replace this completely. We're gonna replace all the lights, the running lights, the tail lights, the brake lights. We're probably gonna spruce up the wheel wells a little bit because those, I don't like the way that this guy just put the angle iron here. So right now we're just ripping all that stuff off. That way in the morning, I can go get more discs for the grinder. I thought you guys might enjoy this. So we're gonna just hit a bunch of stuff with a hammer and uh, get rid of these running lights. So let's do that. Yep, you think this is gonna just pry off? Well, hot dang, boy! <laughs> oh my god, I'm an idiot. Well, I, yeah, you probably... I could've just popped it. <laughs> We're just gonna cut this part out. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We got a beautiful morning today. Check this out. This is the best thing about waking up early. Well, this video's not really doing you justice, but it's about 8 o'clock. I actually had a really late night last night. A few beers later with a couple of my buddies, I decided to just really go in on this trailer. So I'm kind of hell bent on doing this thing 100%, like doing it the right way. So I spent a lot of time just ripping things off. I was gonna show you guys everything on video, but honestly, you probably just don't wanna watch time lapses for an entire video. And honestly, it's not the easiest thing for me to edit either. So here's where we're at as of this morning. The trailer is ripped apart. Let me put my coffee down. As you guys can see, I actually took the entire tongue off of the trailer. We dismantled that. The reason that I took this off was because on the bottom side right here, it's got paint. And to me, it was easier to dismantle the whole trailer rather than flip it over to paint the bottom. I took all the reflectors off, wheel wells off, brake lights off. Guys, let me tell you, ripping this thing apart was, was so annoying. The angle iron was put on with these bolts, I can't remember what they're called. Leave me a comment down below if you remember, but I'm gonna call it like a hex screw. So essentially, 
what it was was this guy right here where the top is rounded off like that and now i know the purpose of these is for them to be kind of like tamped in there like you hit them down and that square part of the screw would grab so that you can just take the bolt on and off well that was not the case these were put in such a big hole that they were just free spinning and there was no way to grab them because they had angle iron all the way around them now as you guys can see right here this is kind of what kept happening it's just like metal spinning so today i gotta get a blade for the grinder so i can cut that off yeah that's that so the only other thing that i think we might do today which again i don't even know if i'll be able to do but I may take the axle off of the trailer so that I can paint it. I'm about to go bare naked with this thing just for it to be easier to paint. I don't know if I'm going to be able to break the bolts on the axle. For I'm basically going to dismantle them at the leaf springs. Or at least that's my idea. But as you guys can see, they're painted over like crazy. So am I going to be able to get them off? Probably not, but we're going to try. But to start this morning off, that's where we're at. I am going to run to Harbor Freight and get more of those discs for the grinder because i went through three of them already we're gonna go grab everything that we need i'm gonna go buy four more discs and then uh go from there i guess so we are gonna get to grinding on the neck of this trailer and then after that we're gonna pull the rest of the trailer out we're gonna take it off of the axle and we're going to start sanding that thing down. I just got back from Harbor Freight. I ended up picking up a few more discs for the grinder. I've been trying to do this whole project with limited tools simply because a lot of people think you can't do like restorations if you don't have a workshop or you don't have the right tools. The right tools definitely help but there's no reason you can't get it done. You just got to do a little more thinking. I put it up on horses this time simply because yesterday my back was killing me hunched over the whole time. This is going to put me at like a comfortable level so that I can do some grinding. It doesn't really matter at this point but this trailer was definitely not stored inside. I can tell you that right now that might be why it has so much of this paint on here is because it started to get gritty it started to rust when i picked up the neck of this trailer and dumped it out there was enough nuts and leaves in there to feed a family of squirrels so it looks like this was a home to a squirrel good news is there's almost no wind today it's going to be like 65 degrees today it's a beautiful spring day so painting is going to be a success so long as i get this all done Alrighty, so for the most part we got this thing pretty much cleaned off. We're gonna have to go back and put a degreaser on pretty much everything. The only thing I could find at the store by me was grease lightning. It should do fine. I'll see what difference it'll make. A degreaser is a degreaser. I'm gonna spray this on here just to show you guys because it's actually covered in dust. But uh, we're gonna have to wipe this thing down real good. I mean if you could see like how much dust is actually on here. So we're going to have to get this thing rubbed down. You don't want to use water when you're doing this because water is just going to make the rust problem way worse. Uh, I know some people like to scrub it down with soap and water, but I just go straight to greaser or something that's going to really get this stuff off of there and dry real nice. From here, we're going to do the rest of the trailer. I couldn't get it all perfect. So as you guys can tell, there's a lot of grit in here, a lot of yellow spots. It's going to be hard to get this almost perfect. When I'm done with the majority of the trailer itself, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go through with a drill and a wire brush and try and get those little spots out the best that I can. But at the end of the day, that should cover with primer. You can only get it so perfect with it being as old as it is. Holy crap, this paint stuff, I'm trying to wear a mask, you know, because I don't wanna breathe in all this crap. I don't have a respirator, which I should. I know I really should. I'm sure some of you guys are like, oh, well, this guy. But at the end of the day, it's not the smartest thing to be doing, but this helps a little bit. So at least I don't breathe in all of it. If you have the resources to do so, go get like an N95 respirator, something you can breathe through, something like that. So we're gonna go in the garage and try and rip the, uh, the son of a gun off the axle. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, I took just the leaf spring bolt off right there. So I figured the easiest way to dismantle it and get it free was just to take it off the entire axle with the leaf spring. So we're gonna take this whole frame out here and bring it out to the horse and start grinding away, finish this. Once we are done with that, 
we can go ahead and start painting after we wipe everything down. So we're making progress today, boys. It's definitely time consuming if you guys want to go about doing it this way. So I ran out of the discs that I was using. So these polycarbide abrasive wheels, these are the best way to go. I'm gonna tell you that right now. They take that paint right off, although it's a little more expensive because they're about five bucks a pop and they only last for maybe a half hour. But it's better than using a wire brush. So I pretty much bought everything that they had at my local store for the uh, Harbor Freight. But I started using the wire brush and it worked, but it took a lot longer because it took everything off in layers and it, well, I, there's a lot of shrapnel that comes from it. The wire brush, I'm not kidding you, I, I felt like I was getting hit by stuff. Now, don't get me wrong, when you, you know, you're doing this stuff, obviously you're gonna get some kind of shrapnel, right? But I mean, like, look at this. Literally, I don't know if you guys can tell right here, but there is just, I've been shot at like arrows everywhere. They're just, it's just like, ow. It low-key hurts, like these things will legitimately just shoot into your skin and it does not feel good let me tell you so now i gotta go basically de-splinter myself i have the entire trailer completely stripped as you guys can see it is dusty it needs to be cleaned but i have the whole thing about as stripped as it's going to get now the only thing i did not do was the inside of the trailer the reason i haven't done the inside of the trailer is well i really wasn't able to i could not get a disc or a wheel for the grinder that was small enough to fit in there and they made a little one that was for a drill but i would have spent an arm and a leg on the amount i would have needed because they were just really small ones they were just really minor ones they weren't made for doing stuff like this so i ended up buying another brush to clean the inside i think just we're gonna have to bite the bullet on this one luckily it's the inside of the trailer it's not gonna be seen that often except for really when the boat's not on it so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna clean up the outside a little bit more and i'm gonna take a little brush to the inside just to get it dusted off and cleaned we're gonna degrease it and then we're gonna go ahead and put the primer on so it's not a hundred percent but it's about as darn good as it's gonna get. The other thing, and leave a comment down below if you guys have a resolve to this, is I'm really trying to salvage the information on the trailer. So if you guys can see right here, it's Dilly Trailers. It's got the date, 1976, it's about to come off. It's got the serial number. I wanna keep all the original stuff on there, but this is just not gonna cut it for looks and things like that. Is there a way that I can get a new sticker made? Is there a website where you can send a picture in and they'll recreate the label for you? Yes, I know it's not original, but I do wanna keep the important information that I need on there. So please let me know in the comment section down below if you guys restore stuff. Like, is there a way that I can get a new sticker made for this so I can grind that off or, or put something over top of it? I don't know if I should grind it off and just try to figure that out or if I should paint over it. I don't know. I might do research before I go ahead and put the paint on, but at the end of the day, I might just have to kind of pile that sucker off. I think we're gonna call it quits on grinding. That's about two full days and about as dang good as it's gonna get. I've tried literally everything to try and get inside this crevice to get, try and get this paint removed off the inside of the trailer. It's just not gonna happen, unfortunately. Good news is it's the inside of the trailer, but I mean, guys, if you look at this, set my beer down, hopefully it doesn't spill. I mean, this is, this is clean cut for the most part. There's a lot of dust that's gotta be cleaned, but I mean, I think I did a pretty good job. I'm happy with it. The inside's gonna, you know, not be as clean as it gets, but what are you gonna do? I'm gonna clean up here a little bit and then we're gonna start painting. I gotta get this thing done, so we're just gonna paint away, at least try and get a prime coat. So, next step is to clean it, prep it for painting. <laughs> That leaf blower is trash. Does not work unless you just feather the choke. Makes no sense. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking this stuff right here. I can link it down below too if you guys want. I'll link everything down below as I do this. If you're curious what I use product wise and stuff like that. All we're doing is we're degreasing everything. 
I'm prepping it the best I can to get it ready for paint. If you really want that paint to adhere, you gotta get that thing clean. Again, I, you don't really wanna use water. You don't wanna cause more rust, but this thing should clean up pretty well after I'm done. So we're gonna do that real quick and hopefully get some paint on it tonight. We gave her the old spit and shine. I mean, this looks beautiful. This is so good. I am still a little frustrated about the inside. I really could get a grinding wheel for that, but I'd have to order it online, and I just don't got time for that right now with fishing season right around the corner. Although this is a cool project, I don't have a ton of money to invest in it, so I have a budget that I'm going for. At the end of this whole build, you guys are gonna find out if I met the budget or not, but here we go. We got it all spit and shine, cleaned up, degreased, and I am going to be putting some high performance enamel by rust-oleum on here the reason i'm going with enamel is because enamel is better suited for like water and preventing rust and things like that so with me putting a trailer in and out of the water all the time i think this is going to help the longevity of it so i'm going to try and stay far away another thing just to mention if you guys end up doing this i changed my clothes you know when i would go like this with my shirt that yellow dust would go everywhere so i don't want that going in the paint Unfortunately, we are outside, so there is a chance that some nonsense falls down while I'm painting this. So what I'm gonna try to do is stay far away, light, light coats. I think I'm gonna stick with keeping the trailer black for now. I come around over here on this side. I taped over the original logo and uh, tried my best to keep that squared off. Don't know what I'm gonna do if I do get a new sticker. In worst case, I'll just put it over top of the old one instead of just completely taking it off. So, all right, boys. Let's get this thing painted before the sun goes down because I need it to stay warm out as well so this paint can dry. Shoo! Trailer is coming together. I'm actually pumped. This is turning out a lot better than I expected. Now, all the parts that I really couldn't grind down completely on the inside and stuff like that, yes, they do still look a little bit weathered, but I'm hoping with a few more coats of paint, they will look just a bit better. But for the actual trailer, I mean, guys, that, that, that song gun looks brand new. So I'm really pumped about that. It's painted. I have about a coat and a half on here. I have one, basically one and a half cans. I'm gonna let it chill like this for a while. I don't think I'm gonna put any more paint on it tonight because I have to flip it over to paint the other side. And since I have to do that, I don't wanna risk any paint flaking or anything sticking to what it is sitting on. So essentially what I'm gonna do is paint this top half, put as many coats as I can. Tomorrow I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna flip both pieces over and then do the same amount of coats on that side so the goal is to put three full cans of enamel on this or one full can of enamel and then paint and primer i don't really know yet whatever looks the best i guess and whatever is the most protectant so far i'm really happy with the look it looks really good as you guys can see in some spots down over there i don't know if you can really see that but I can still see a bit of yellow and that's simply because I don't want to just try and blob up the paint by going under there. One thing that makes this look really good that I've learned was just, this is actually my dad taught me this, just a swift back and forth when you're painting, keep it light. And it's better to do more coats light than just to mob it on there because the paint job will not look good. You can actually make spray paint look really, really well if you put it on correctly. So with that being said, I'm going to put an end to this video right here. It's been a long two days. So if you guys want to keep up with this build, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button right now. And uh, next video, we're, you know, the beginning, I might be painting the trailer, I don't know. We're gonna start working on the boat. Now, I might paint the boat first. I would like to get out and water test it if I can bring this thing to a pond and get it in the back of my truck. I would like to do that. I have a friend with an F-250, so we might be able to put the whole thing in there. Let me know what you guys think I should paint this boat. Like, what color should I do it? Should I leave it blue? Should I paint it white? Should I do some kind of crazy decal design? I don't know really what I want to do with it yet. Odds are it's going to be white at some point because I have to prime it if I'm going to paint it a color. So maybe if I like it white because it'll match the truck over there, but I don't, I don't know. Leave me a comment down below what you guys think I should name this boat and what color you think I should paint it. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in part three.